Well hey folks, welcome back to the Lost Kills. And uh, I think it's pretty obvious why we stopped here. It's a beautiful fall mushroom. Before we get into this too much more, please reach down, hit like, and subscribe. I'll appreciate it. But walking in the woods, I'm looking for a hen of the woods mushrooms. I run across this beautiful chicken of the woods. Uh, this is uh, Latoporus sulfurious, if I got that right. Just a fantastic edible mushroom for most people, but not for everybody. I'll get into that in a minute. You can cook this basically the same way you would cook chicken. Tastes fantastic. It can be frozen. There's a lots of different ways to store it. Not very many lookalikes. This beautiful orange color. A little bit of yellow to it. You'll find it on trees. You can find it growing up 20, 30 foot high on trees. Just a real fun one to get. I've heard that um, for a vegan diet, this is a great substitute for chicken meat. So definitely one to think about, but with every mushroom, please try small, just a little bit. You know, take a little, cook it, taste, make sure it's thoroughly cooked. You never eat any mushroom raw, especially wild. Try just a little bit. See how that goes, see how you feel an hour later, two hours later the next day and the 48 hours after before you try to consume it. In my case I get really bad cramps about 12-24 hours later. So it's not one that I eat myself but my best friend does so I will harvest this and take it to him. But chicken in the woods is quite the fall treat. Beautiful find. Not very many lookalikes around it. Do some research on this little guy. You'll find it's extremely popular. There's lots of recipes online, lots of recipes on YouTube. It's definitely one to look for. But again, with all mushrooms, be careful. So we're going to harvest this. It does not have a central stem or a stalk. So you really, sometimes you have to work for it. Get in tight to the tree, pry a little bit. come up. We can pick that last little petal too. And I can already feel it dripping moisture on my hand and it's been a really dry year. So I'm just thrilled to find this. So hope you found this informative and we'll see y'all down the trail a little bit. Thanks for watching y'all.